Hi, welcome to another Kevy Shaves. Today's shave, I'm going to be starting with the Purasso Pre-Shave, uh, which I've already rubbed in. The brush for today is the L'Occitane Plisson, which I haven't used for a while, so I'm going to give it another hour in today. Uh, the razor today is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Double Open Comb. Uh, and I have a different handle on this, so the handle it comes with uh, I thought it was very light, so I wanted a, uh, a little bit of a heavier handle, so I got this one on eBay. Uh, so I think there's a guy called Windrose Handles, and he makes his own handles and knurling on it's good. And it just gives the razor a little bit more weight. And there's the head, a double open comb. And inside there I have a Gillette Ruby Platinum Plus, and it's the second use on that blade. So I'll just put that in the water, and... The soap for today is Phoenix and Bow Sanskrit Shaving Soap. Sanskrit. <laughs> I nearly said something else then. <laughs> and that's sandalwood, black pepper, and cardamom. Uh, and this is a new, another new UK artisan. Uh, they just launched, uh, I think it was on Monday, Monday past then and uh, they've just launched, I think they've got about three or four different scents. I think they have three scents and one unscented. I was actually one of the testers in the um, final phases for the, the unscented tallow soap. Uh, and this is this, I'll just give you a look at the ingredients around the pot. If you can see that, I don't know if that's making sense or not. But maybe if I do that and then you can pause it and then zoom in. Yeah, so this is a new UK artisan. I'll put the link for their website in the description below. And here's the soap. And it's sandalwood, black pepper and cardamom. Which is a... A nice scent. I'm getting the, definitely getting the sandalwood. Nice, nice blend, and it's quite a, it's quite a hard soap. Um, I'm going to bull lather with it today, just for something a bit different. I've got my, uh, the shaving room, which is a forum here in the UK, and I've pressed some of the soap into the bottom of the bowl. It's got some ridges, so I'll just shake the brush out, and we'll get to lathering it up. How's everyone doing? Good? Ready for the weekend? Yeah, I've been, um, I've got a lot of samples of soap that I've kind of traded with people and the, the other night I was just bull lathering them all just to kind of get the sense. I'm just going to add a few drops of water to this. Yeah, just to get the scent of the testers out and um, I discovered a technique while I was bowl lathering that seemed to work for me because I don't usually bowl lather, I'm usually a, a face latherer but I just thought, oh I've got this bowl and um, yeah I discovered this new technique, well it's not a new technique, it's just a technique that's new to me, I usually just put the soap or cream in the bowl, mix it up until it's looks like a nice lather and then that's it, <laughs> shave with it but I kind of developed a technique and I'm going to make a video about it actually I'll make a video just to kind of show you how I do it but um, I'm just going to add some more water this is a quite a, this is a towel based soap so it's it's quite thirsty and uh, I'll just keep mixing it but I'll, I'll speed the video up just now so you can come back when it's ready. Okay, I think that's the lather in the bowl ready and I'll show you in the brush. There it 
is there and there's still all that just from a little bit of soap um, yeah I'm not sure whether it's um, before I haven't been lathering it up enough just and giving it enough time to kind of build the lather and stuff like that but it just seems to be the more I whip it up but there's a certain way I do it in the bowl which I'll, I'll, I'll make a video uh, sometime <laughs> when I find time I'll make a video and I'll, I'll show you how I do it but as you can see look, it's um, and there's all that lather in the bowl as well so I think there's enough of three passes there yeah just from a little bit of soap which is great <laughs> so this is lathered up and it smells really nice yeah, I'm getting this, I'm mostly getting the sandalwood, but there is obviously that you can smell the black pepper and cardamom just in the background, but it's nice. Okay, we'll get to lathering up the face with this. And there's the, the cream in the bowl. Okay, here we go. And as usual, <laughs> for Kebby shaves, the suds are flying all over the place. I'm just going to put some back in the bowl. Great scent on this soap. Really different from anything I've used before. Yeah, the black pepper and the cardamom really mix nicely with the sandalwood and it's a nice sandalwood scent and it's creating a nice lather here, very nice nice and thick and shiny Great to see another UK artisan soap maker on the block. Along with um, all the others, Nanny Silly Soap, um, James Riley with OSP, um, Wickham's are making a comeback, as you probably seen from my last video. And I'm sure there's a couple of others. Uh, signature soaps, I think I've done uh, a review of one of their soaps, so yeah, very good. The more the merrier. And this looks like a good soap. But when I tested this, this was fantastic performing soap, but it was unscented. So, and he's, uh, they've added the, the, the scent, Kerry has added the scent, the, the maker of the soap. Uh, and it smells great. So we'll get this, the shave going and uh, see how it performs. And I have about three days growth here. Great glide. From the soap. And the good thing about this razor is because of the double open combs uh, when you go over you can see how it leaves little trails which enables you to go over the same bit again
And I really like the head on this razor because it's um, it's not too big or wide. Uh, it's nice and not small, but it's not too big that you can't get into difficult places like underneath your moustache. Places like that. I've just got myself a little weeper there. <laughs> Okay, first pass time. Yeah, feels good. Okay, I'll just rinse off and I'll be back. Okay, we're back for pass two and as you can see, <laughs> there's still loads of suds left and the soap still looks great in the brush. Okay. And there's still, I don't know whether, I get, whether the camera's picking it up with the light, there's still a lovely sheen on the lather. It, it, um, it still looks great. Let's put some water in here. And um, yeah, the, the smell's really coming out of the scent. I'm getting the sandalwood, but um, the cardamom is obviously coming out because it's starting to smell quite spicy, which is good. It smells nice. I'm not shaving up my nose, so across the grain. And much as it's nice to see some new soap makers, especially UK ones, it's um, sad to see that the, um, Tim Soaps and Knockout Shave have called time on their soap making days for now, which is a bit of a shame. Always sad to see an artisan close their door for whatever reason. But I wish them both luck and uh, hopefully they'll come back sooner, I hope. Yeah, as you can see, the, the trails that the, 
the combs leave on your face. It just enables you to go over the same bit a couple of times. Just to get that a little bit closer. Okay, that's the second pass done. Wow, really nice. Okay, I'll just rinse off, I'll be back. Okay, we're back for pass three, and as you can see, there's still <laughs> plenty of soap left in here. And the scent is beautiful, really. The sandalwood and the, sp the spiciness of the black pepper and cardamom is a great combination. Really nice. I'm just scooping some suds up from the bowl because there's plenty left. Yeah, I guess some people prefer to face lather or bowl lather. I guess bowl lathering takes a little more time, but if you have the time, it's nice to, I just like to mix it up. And I've not used this brush in a little while. And it's great, still a very good brush. Kind of fell out of favour with some people when the, the Sterling Kong and the Razor Rock Plus Soft came along, but I had it before those brushes, so I'm going to keep it. I still like it. Nice to have. This is a beautiful lather from the Phoenix and Bow Sanskrit soap. <laughs> I keep, wanting, I keep wanting to say Sanskrit, you know what I keep wanting to say, but <laughs> I'm not going to get cut out. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> okay, pass number three <laughs> against the growth. Some people, um, some people see this razor and I think, wow, that looks super aggressive, and it does, but it's not um, overly aggressive, I don't think. It's just a very efficient. Just a very efficient razor, very good. As with any other razor though, still to be treated with the utmost respect. I'm going to try something here. There's this little bit that always, that I always miss just here. I don't know. It must. I think my hair kind of grows in a star kind of shape. So what I'm going to try is like a almost like a J hook. <laughs> That's 
worked. Yay! <laughs> Something new. Yeah, don't be scared to try different things when you're shaving to find out what works for you and as long as you don't slice your head off <laughs> which uh, the possibility of that happening is very slim but you may nick yourself or cut yourself but you'll heal oh look see what did I tell you that little move there is that's my skin saying I'm not used to that ok that's the third pass done I'm just going to test the slickness and it's still very slick very good yeah super slick ok I'm just going to rinse off and I'll come back for pass uh, pick up pass 4 yeah why not <laughs> Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. Wow. That feels nice. Not much left to pick up at all. A couple of bits here. Okay, I'll we'll just get on with this. And as you can see, look, there's still the soap left in the bowl. I'll just clean it out. I do the old make shapes technique, putting the lather on the face, having a little feel about. Okay, I'm good at that. I'm just going to scoop some of this up and put it on my face. Rub it in. I'll have a rinse with some hot and cold water and then I'll come back with some final thoughts. Okay, we're back. What a nice shave. Feels great. Very close. Still a lot of slickness left. Okay, I'm going to put on some Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel. Just to get back into the skin. Feels nice. And while that's drying in, we'll go over again what we've used today. So we start the shave off with the Prorasso White Pre-Shave. The razor today was the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Double Open Comb and that had a Gillette Ruby in there. Uh, that was the second use on that blade with the Windrose handle. The brush today, L'Occitane Plisson. And I bowl lathered my shaving room bowl, and there's not much left in there now, but I'm just going to wipe my hands and my face because it's quite hot in this bathroom. Uh, the soap today, Phoenix and Bow Sanskrit Shaving Soap, Sandalwood, Black Pepper and Cardamom. Nice, nice soap. Really nice scent. Uh, I'm looking forward, I want to try some of the other ones. They have a citrus one and one other which I can't remember, but I'll put the link to the website um, in the description. And there's the soap there. We then finished off, rinsed, and finished with some cucumber witch hazel. And I'm going to put on some, which I got in the mail today, Parasso, which I haven't used before. 
Just a little splash. Tiny, tiny little bit of a tingle, but not much. Wow, that smells nice. Never used Parasso aftershave before. A little bit of menthol in it, I can feel. And we're going to finish it off with some Nivea Men. Uh, someone asked a question the other day on my YouTube channel. Why do you put the aftershave balm on then the splash? Sometimes I put the splash on and then the balm. Sometimes I put the balm on then the splash. Depending on how I feel. But today, I'm putting the splash on then the balm. And that is a top notch shave. Very nice. Doesn't it feel great when you have a nice shave? Nice and close and you feel fresh. And That's me ready for bed now. <laughs> okay, thanks very much for watching. Uh, thank you very much for my new subscribers. Hello to you all. Uh, any questions you want to ask me at all about shaving, about anything in general, uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, just file them in the comment section below. And uh, until the next shave, we'll see you again soon. Uh, take care.